أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Verily, we have granted you a manifest victory that Allah may forgive you your faults of the past and those to follow, fulfill his favor to you and guide you on the straight way and that Allah may help you with powerful help. It is he who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers that they may add faith to their faith. For to Allah belong the forces of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom, that he may admit the men and women who believe to gardens beneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein for a, and remove their ills from them, and that is in the sight of Allah the highest achievement for man, and that he may punish the hypocrites, men and women, and the polytheists, men and women, who imagine an evil opinion of Allah. On them is a round of evil, the wrath of Allah is on them. He has cursed them, and got hell ready for them, and evil is it for a destination. For to Allah belong the forces of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is exalted in power, full of wisdom. We have truly sent you as a witness, as a bringer of glad tidings, and as a warner, in order that you, O men, may believe in Allah and His Messenger, that you may assist and honor Him, and celebrate His praises morning and evening. Really, those who plight their fealty to you do no less than plight their fealty to Allah. The hand of Allah is over their hands. Then anyone who violates his oath does so to the harm of his own soul. And anyone who fulfills what he has covenanted with Allah, Allah will soon grant him a great reward. The desert Arabs who lag behind will say to you, We were engaged in looking after our flocks and herds and our families. Do you then ask forgiveness for us? They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say, Who then has any power at all to intervene on your behalf with Allah, if his will is to give you some loss or to give you some profit? But Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. Nay, you thought that the messenger and the believers would never return to their families. This seemed pleasing in your hearts. And you conceived an evil thought, for you are a people lost in wickedness. And if any believe not in Allah and his messenger, we have prepared for those who reject Allah a blazing fire. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he wills, and he punishes whom he wills. But Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Those who lag behind will say, When you are free to march and take booty in war, permit us to follow you. They wish to change Allah's decree. Say, Not thus will you follow us. Allah has already declared this beforehand. Then they will say, But you are jealous of us. Nay. But little do they understand such things. Say to the desert Arabs who lag behind, You shall be summoned to fight against a people given to vehement war. Then shall you fight, or they shall submit. Then, if you show obedience, Allah will grant you a goodly reward. But if you turn back as you did before, He will punish you with a grievous penalty. No blame is there on the blind, nor is there blame on the lame, nor on one ill if he joins not the war. But he that obeys Allah and his messenger, Allah will admit him to gardens beneath which rivers flow. And he who turns back, Allah will punish him with a grievous penalty. Allah's good pleasure was on the believers when they swore fealty to you under the tree. He knew what was in their hearts, and he sent down tranquility to them, and he rewarded them with a speedy victory. And many gains will they acquire besides. And Allah is exalted in power, full of wisdom. Allah has promised you many gains that you shall acquire, and He has given you these beforehand, and He has restrained the hands of men from you, that it may be a sign for the believers, and that He may guide you to a straight path. And other gains there are which are not within your power, but which Allah has compassed, and Allah has power over all things. If the unbelievers should fight you, they would certainly turn their backs, then would they find neither protector nor helper.
Such has been the practice approved of Allah already in the past. No change will you find in the practice approved of Allah. And it is He who has restrained their hands from you and your hands from them in the midst of Mecca. After that, He gave you the victory over them. And Allah sees well all that you do. They are the ones who denied revelation and hindered you from the sacred mosque and the sacrificial animals, detained from reaching their place of sacrifice. Had there not been believing men and believing women whom you did not know that you were trampling down, and on whose account a crime would have accrued to you without your knowledge, Allah would have allowed you to force your way. But he held back your hands, that he may admit to his mercy whom he will. If they had been apart, we should certainly have punished the unbelievers among them with a grievous punishment. While the unbelievers got up in their hearts, heat and cant, the heat and cant of ignorance, Allah sent down his tranquility to his messenger and to the believers and made them stick close to the command of self-restraint. And well were they entitled to it, and worthy of it. And Allah has full knowledge of all things. Truly did Allah fulfill the vision for his messenger. You shall enter the sacred mosque. If Allah wills, with minds secure, heads shaved, hair cut short and without fear. For he knew what you knew not, and he granted besides this a speedy victory. It is he who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to prevail it over all religion and enough is Allah for a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those who are with him are strong against unbelievers but compassionate amongst each other. You will see them bow and prostrate themselves in prayer seeking grace from Allah and his good pleasure. On their faces are their marks being the traces of their prostration. This is their similitude in the Torah. And their similitude in the Gospel is like a seed which sends forth its blade, then makes it strong. It then becomes thick, and it stands on its own stem, filling the sowers with wonder and delight. As a result, it fills the unbelievers with rage at them. Allah has promised those among them who believe and do righteous deeds forgiveness and a great reward.